Rough Edges, the story of a family struggle against the ups and downs of life. Watch out for details. I was thinking we should discuss about this boy before you left for the office this morning. What's there to discuss? There isn't much to discuss as far as I'm concerned. You see, if the police say there is no boy, I believe there is no boy. Don't you know better, Chris? The key to this puzzle is Titi. If we can get to speak to Titi and be sure that what she saw is what she Really so. But how how do we get at her? How do we I don't know how do we get it? Rose, do you know where she lives? Yes. We actually exchange addresses. Okay. But if Titi insists that she saw Toby and we don't have the police official cooperation, how far will that take us? My dear Rose, there are ways you get Official cooperation, unofficially. Leave the politics to me. A job like any other. A job like any other. Do you know what EFCC does to uh, people who, 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 who do this kind of job? What they do to 419 people? See, 419 is just a number. Like 121 or even 332. They are just rumors government uses to, 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 to scare smart boys like us. <laughs> I believe in rumors. Do you, do you know what, what uh, that governor that they said that he didn't win the election? Didn't they find out, find out it was true? What has politics got to do with this? Let us face what we are here for. Now, the first thing you must learn is how to recognize someone with money. No matter what he's wearing. How do I do that without jazz? Like ABC. Now, see that man. Yeah. Ah. Now, See the way he's holding his briefcase close to his chest and yeah. looking around. Yes, yes. You can be sure that he has nothing less than 300,000 naira inside. Ah, Ubudu. Are you sure? Ah, you are asking the master. Come on. Okay, see, uh, see that woman. That one. Uh -huh. Exactly. Ah! Ah! Sweet Mugu. That one, a uh, ripe mango. Hey! You pluck it, eh? the juice is enough to fetch you a very good car. Now, don't forget, don't forget, women make better mugus than men. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, see, see that one, that one, that one. Yes, yes, ah, yes. ah, born again. Uh, <laughs> you get close to her, Holy Ghost Fire is your person. Okay. Yeah, but really, is this what you will be doing all day? Eh? You're just showing me people. 
I mean, when are we, am I going to meet them? Then approach, man. Approach. We call it approach. Now, now, this is the scope. Now, approach. A businessman in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, a man of God with powerful anointing. Uh -huh. uh, Townsman meeting you in Lagos. Mm -hmm. now, are you getting all this? Yes, yes. Let's say you have started the very correct move mm -hmm. and you decide on man of God approach. Mm -hmm. Watch me. But your deliverance is here. Big one, this is how you visit me today. Ah, big auntie, welcome. Mm. Uh, auntie, this is my play play friend, eh? Baba J, that my big auntie waiting for cooler when I did tell you, I'm be this so. Hmm. Mama, now welcome home. Pleased to meet you, Baba J. Mm. Why arrange something for them? Hmm? Oh. Are you sure? Mm. I don't see him come. No, thank you, Titi. Thank you. Anyway, make I go severe area small. Okay, okay. Ah, it's all done. Ah. I'm welcome. Ah. Titi, welcome. Titi, I really have something very important to talk to you. Eh. Uh, eh, uh, Auntie. She ain't no be runs. Because as I did so, eh, I just they come out. I wanna arrange myself, make I put body together before I go begin do runs again. I don't quite understand. She means it's her business illegal. Oh. No, 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 Titi. We just want you to clarify something for us. Eh, I I and see. No be say I get fear, it's just be saying. Anyhow, shall I continue? Mm, Titi. You told Rose that you saw a boy at the station the day you were released. And that the police called this boy Toby. Auntie, no be say na Olokpa call him Toby. Them ask him in name. He counted and say he name na Toby. They even ask him where he they stay. He can't say he they stay um, somewhere like so huh. Then it must be him. That's where his family stays. Titi, are you sure? Because the police say Toby never came there. I and see which kind of rubbish talk be that now. I say I see the boy, no be Toby. I be one to your house, come ask you whether you don't finish the case before on a con show face now. We've not finished though, Titi. Mm -hmm. They are saying the boy never showed up. Auntie, that one a lie. Boy, where I see with my two naked eyes. Even if now, say, may they give me glasses, I don't need them because now for hot have to me. Okay, now, Titi, we are going back to the station. Would you please come with us to the station so you can say this at the station? That one now, one hand now. Which kind of thing is that? I've been moving away to make I wash me. Let's see.
to stand and ten times. You are enemy. You are talking to me. I don't have any enemy. Madam, I see you have enemies. Not even a single one. Ah. I don't have enemies. I, I can see them planning around. Planning. Planning, planning around. I don't have enemies. God has sent me to deliver your own. Oh, my bad boss. You think you don't get? I bet you won't give her one. My friend, will you mind your business? You? Now, your enemies have failed, madam. I bet you want to give all my money. Hey. Then, yeah, 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 man. Just don't give her your money. What you are insinuating here is totally unacceptable. I don't insinuate. I state categorically. I have a life witness who insists she saw the boy. A convict is hardly the most reliable of witnesses. Mm -hmm. Officer, I could say I be convict too. <laughs> when I wait and I see now I talk. Well, I assure you we look into every complaint that is brought into this office. But as you can see, I have a lot of work on my desk. Officer. Wherever that boy is, I'll find him. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> I'm always happy to go there. So, madam, good day. It was all a bad mistake. It was all a bad mistake. I don't know how you talk me into it. I should never have listened to you. Oh, but relax. Relax, man. You just maintain. Hmm? So you did not uh, you did not catch your first move. Big deal. Who does? Relax, bro. What what, what do you mean, relax? Eh? Do, 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 do you know that they, they almost licked me? All this Lagos Lagos crowd. One, one, one boy was talking about tire. So, and then some, some children gathered. So, and then one girl looking man came there. What did they, they, so, they said? Tire so, 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 Josie. They didn't, eh? So, spare me. Come on. Listen, we are moving on. We're going to the second part of your training tomorrow. Second part? You mean we've not finished? Oh. So, you think it's easy to eat, eh? Tomorrow, eh? We're going into office operations. Relax, man. You will enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah, like this. Keeping this boy alive is risky. Why don't you just kill him? Don't call me a fool, Che. I don't like it. This is too risky. Why do you want him alive anyway? Don't threaten me, Ambe. I don't like it. Oche. Oche.
I'm so sorry I'm late, Auntie. <laughs> My taxi driver was the original slow and steady grandpa. <sighs> I can't so wait to get my own wheels. Slow and steady. Slow and steady, princess. I see you are all set for the shindig. Mm hmm Except for shoes. Auntie, I hope none of those guys has a heart condition because me and my girls are heading for the kill. <laughs> Say that again. Mm -hmm. In this, you can stop both land and air traffic. Better believe it. <laughs> now, let's just serious stuff. What kind of people are you expecting in this shindig? Well, politicians mostly. It's actually a party caucus affair. You know, big wigs having fun alone and stuff. Excellent. Now listen. Your primary reason for going to this party is not to stand pretty and giggle at every dry joke. It's not even to get a, uh, a check. No matter how many zeros on it. Do you follow me? Yes, Auntie. In Nigeria, today, is who you know, not what you have. So at this party, you make friends and establish contacts. Are you with me? Yes, Auntie, but how? You're being pretty means that 50% of the job is already done. The rest is be friendly, talk intelligently, strike up intelligent conversations. You understand? <laughs> but what do I talk about? Politics. In fact, your assignment right now is to lay your hands on every newspaper and news magazine you can lay your hands on and start reading. Read all the gossips about who is decamping from where to what uh, party, who is lobbying who for who, what, who is slapping who. Any gossip about men who make the headlines. You read me? Like a novel, Auntie. What else? Don't be too accommodating. Play hard to get. Hard to get means adventurous and having fun. Lots of fun. Accommodating means future housewife. <laughs> and I tell you, no more wants the letter. <laughs> this is so like school. I almost feel like taking notes. This is cool. And you are ahead 101. <laughs> and who else? But Professor Becky Osage Williams, lecturer. Oh, yeah. Mm. So I see your guess. Ah. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Definitely, Auntie. The slimmest, slinkiest honeys you have ever set eyes on. Don't see. If I were a man at this party, I would go home unattached. <laughs> <laughs> but now, seriously. You run an escort service, not a brothel. Whatever these girls choose to do with this man after the party, is entirely up to them. I know that, Auntie, and my girls know that. That was Sharon's chief mistake, you know, benefiting from the private affairs of her girls. Hmm. Talking about Sharon, there's one or two questions I need to ask about her. Rough Edges, the story of a family struggle against the ups and downs of life. Watch out for details.